Hey everybody, I'm Rob Freeman and welcome back to Securing the Built Environment. This is episode 146. And in this episode, we are answering the question, should you use Apple pass keys? And in this video, we're gonna talk about three things. Number one, what are pass keys? Number two, how do pass keys work? And number three, why are pass keys considered more secure than using a simple password? And if you enjoy this video, you find it useful, please like the video or subscribe to my YouTube channel. So number one, what are pass keys? Well, pass keys are an alternative to passwords that are considered more secure because they use asynchronous public key encryption to create a unique link between something that you have and the website that, or the app that you're trying to log into. And it does this by creating a special uh, cryptographically secure and strong public key pair, uh, which is comprised of a public key and a private key. And so uh, let's, let's talk about how this works. So number two, how do pass keys work? Well, as I started to say, when you go to create a pass key on a website that supports it, like uh, Google, so your Gmail account or your Coinbase account, they'll support pass keys. And if you go to Google or Coinbase or any number of companies that are supporting pass keys and you choose to create a pass key, what will happen in the background is that the site and your Apple device will create a uh, what's called a public key, private key pair, a secure key pair. And uh, on the website or the app, they will generate a public key. And then that matches up with a private key that's stored on your device in iCloud Keychain encrypted and also on the device's secure enclave. And it's encrypted on the device and Apple can't read it, you can't read it, you don't know what it looks like or how it is, you can't divulge it, but it works only with that public key that is stored on the app or the website that you created it with. And so if those two don't match, you won't be able to log in. And in encryption, or in, I should say rather in verification or identity security, there are typically three things that a site will use to verify who you are. There's three types of authentication factors that sites will use. One is called something you know, another is something that you are, and the other is something that you have. So something that you know, something you are, something you have. And the historical way that we've been sort of trained to verify who we are is by using something that we know, which is a password. The problem with passwords is that you can be tricked into giving them up or they can be breached or you can you know, leave a piece of paper with a password lying around somewhere. And that's a, considered a low security or it's not very secure. And, you know, the rules about passwords have gotten more sophisticated over the years. You know, you're supposed to use a minimum of 15 characters and you got to have uh, lots of variability, use special characters, upper and lowercase letters, numbers, et cetera, et cetera. And they become more and more difficult for us to remember across all these sites, which is why in a previous video I talked about using the Apple Password Manager and how to do that. But um, <clears throat> the beauty of pass keys is that it makes it impossible basically for you to be, uh, to give up the pass key because you don't know it and it can't really be fished and it can't really be reused or hacked. So that is really bringing us to the third thing, which is why pass keys are considered more secure than passwords. Basically, it's using the latter two things, which is, you know, when I mentioned it was something that you know, something that you have, and something that you are. It's using the latter two things. It's using, using the something that you are and something that you have. Because with the iOS uh, iCloud keychain, the Apple security process is going to rely on you to use Face ID or Touch ID to verify who you are at the local level when you have your device. And then because the private key is stored on your device in the secure enclave and it's synced up to iCloud, uh, it's basically won't be able to be divulged unless you actually have your device, which makes it, you know, in terms of being more secure than, than passwords, 
it basically can't be fished necessarily. I mean, you can't be tricked into giving your device to somebody overseas or somebody in another country remotely. Somebody would have to have your device. They would have to take your device from you and use your thumbprint or your face to unlock your device and then maybe even have your pin or, you know, access to your other trusted devices in, you know, the Apple ecosystem. And um, so that's what makes it secure. It also makes it impossible for you to reuse a passkey because a passkey is going to be generated, that pr pr public private key pair is going to be generated uniquely for every website. So you can't reuse a passkey. And then if a site gets breached, it doesn't matter because the public key can be shared to, with anybody. It doesn't matter because it's public. It's the private key that matters. And the fact that those two things are linked in a pair, that's what makes them secure. So um, here's some instructions for how to set up uh, pass keys on your iPhone. Uh, you just basically, to, to per turn pass keys on, you just basically go to uh, your settings and just go to settings and then general and then autofill and passwords and then just toggle that option for autofill passwords and pass keys. And then uh, any pass keys that you create on your iPhone or your iOS device should be automatically stored in your Apple Passwords app. Or if you know if you use a third-party password app, it, it it would probably be stored there as well. And then it'll be synced to your iCloud keychain. Now, one thing I should just mention it's kind of obvious because you won't be able to do this without it. But to turn on pass keys, you actually have to be using iCloud keychain, and you have to have two-factor authentication set up. So um, yeah, so that's kind of it in a nutshell. Um, pass keys are a more secure option than using passwords by themselves. And I would definitely recommend that you set them up uh, on any site that is using that or supporting them, offering you the ability to do that. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was useful, please like or subscribe to my channel. And uh, thanks again for watching and have a great day.